Hey guys, it's Chris. Today we are going to be talking about your lights when you're towing, specifically your lights on the towed vehicle. We get questions a lot as far as how does my brake interact with my lights? Obviously our braking systems are proportional units, so since they're not going to activate in every braking, what does that mean for the brake lights and turn signals in your towed vehicle? So we wanna look at some of those questions today and provide you with some answers. So to start with, how do your lights interact with your braking system when you're towing? Well, the best way to think about this is to, to imagine a person sitting in your driver's seat, whether it's you driving or when you're towing somebody else sitting back there driving, your brake lights are going to function exactly the same as they would if someone was sitting in that seat pressing on the brake pedal. When the brake pedal is pushed, those lights will come on. Your turn signals will interact with your brake lights the exact same way they normally would. So if your turn signal stays on when your brake lights activate, it will continue to stay on. When your RVI brake three or RVI brake shadow activates the pedal, if your uh, turn signal is overridden by your brake lights when you brake, it will do the same thing when our braking system is installed. Our braking system doesn't control your lights in any way, shape, or form, other than when the brake pedal in the towed vehicle is pressed, your brake lights will come on as they normally would. So that's how the RVI Brake 3 or RVI Brake Shadow interacts with your lights. What about the situations where your brake doesn't come on? You're braking and your RVI Brake 3 or RVI Brake Shadow doesn't sense enough inertia to activate. How does that work? And also, how does it work when you turn your turn signals on? Obviously, you're doing that in the motorhome. What happens in the towed vehicle? How do those work back there? Well, all of that functionality is going to be controlled through your lighting kit. Now, this is a separate piece of equipment from your braking system. It's very important that you have one. In fact, it's legally required that your brake lights come on when you brake in the motorhome. So you definitely wanna make sure you have one. A lighting kit is typically something that's wired through your six or seven pin connector. There are Bluetooth or wireless variants, but most commonly it's a wired system. And it's a very simple switch. Essentially, if you hit the brake pedal in your motorhome, there's an electrical input that tells the brake lights in the towed vehicle to activate. Same thing when you turn on your turn signals. There's an electrical input, sends it back to your towed vehicle, says, hey, we need to turn on the turn signals. 90 to 95% of the time when you're towing, that is what's going to be controlling your lights. The only time it's going to be overridden is obviously when the brake presses on the pedal, it's going to activate your brake lights regardless of the input from the lighting kit. But again, it's still going to behave the exact same way as if you were driving your car around. So again, it's not interfering with the turn signals or anything like that. It's just behaving the way that it would behave if you were physically behind the wheel. So that's how your braking system interacts with your lights. And again, that lighting kit is super important. You wanna make sure you have one. If you've got questions on different kinds, our team can certainly help guide you. But the good news is that most lighting kits are pretty much created equal. There's not a lot of variance in quality or performance. They pretty much do what they're supposed to do and they work really well. So if you've got questions on lighting kits or on our braking system or anything else we've talked about in this video, don't hesitate to reach out. We're available by phone, chat, or email. In the meantime, happy RVing. Hey guys, thanks again for joining us. We can't wait for you to dive in a little bit deeper on this channel. We've got tons of other great videos, videos on products, stories, tips and tricks for when you're on the road. Before you go check those out though, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video. It may sound a little cliche, but it actually really does help us here on the YouTube side of things to make sure that we can continue to provide this kind of content for you. So if you've got any questions at all, never hesitate to reach out. We always love hearing from you. And guys, in the meantime, happy RVing.